In other local news, your access to one of the largest parks in Santa Barbara increases later this month. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri has a preview for us. And John, you found out new trails are going in at Parma Park. Yes, and Parma Park has 200 acres of space in the city of Santa Barbara. It's the city's largest park. Most of us are familiar with the trails on the eastern side of the park. We come in off of Stanwood. We're here in the western area where things are about to change. From old cattle trails in Santa Barbara's 200-acre Parma Park, comes a new design with a meandering flow on the western end of the park that hasn't seen the public much. We have the ability to make the trail as narrow or as wide as we'd like it. And for most of this trail, it's about three feet wide. The work means a special care for tree roots along the way. This rock wall was built by hand and this whole trail was built by hand till we passed the oak critical root zones. We use that plywood that you see there and grass mulch to walk the machine through this entire section to protect the roots of these oak trees. To do this is a combination of mapping technology and boots on the ground. We come out and uh, take a look at the terrain and we do lay, lay down pin, pin flags so that we, we can see visually where the trail is gonna go. For those with mobility concerns. We're adding about a half mile of reduced grade trail that folks that use mobility aids can have access to. From this section of the trail, which has a softer incline, the city's created this plateau. And you can sit on this bench here, and someone with a wheelchair, for example, can pull up right there. And together you can enjoy these tremendous views of Parma Park and the mountain ranges around it. And you can see so much of what Santa Barbara has to offer just in this one park. You get views of the ocean, views of the downtown. You can see many of our native vegetation communities and really get some nice exercise in as well. The park already has four miles of trails. This project adds 2.7 miles on the western side where most hikers have not gone. It's pretty unique in that we have a lot of different vegetation types out here. We have oak woodland, we have riparian corridors, we have grassland, and we have chaparral. The first phase of the project will be done later this month. The habitat will then get thousands of native plants this summer as part of the unique project. I love it. I'm, uh, I'm super excited for the new trails here. I think they're going to be so much better than the old trails, and I think people are going to love them. Parma Park is bordered by Stanwood, which is the entrance most people are familiar with. Also, El Cielito, which is the western side, which is closed now, but it'll be open in a couple weeks, and I'll tell you about that as soon as it, oh, it is open, and also bordered up on Mountain Drive. Reporting live in Parma Park this evening, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. All right, a lot of people can't wait to get out there. Thank you, John. It is